Despite financial challenges all around the world, uh, it has been a good year for international cooperation in relation to MS. MSIF has been able to step up uh, its work in cooperation in research. It has been a very good year to support small and emerging countries all around the world and people with MS who may not have support from uh, many organizations. It has been a very good World MS Day and also the information and particularly in relation to digital information and translations has been very successful in 2011. Last year, World MS Day was the best yet. We had more than 71 countries taking part with activities, raising awareness amongst the public, policymakers, and employers around the world. In 2011, the International Paediatric Multiple Sclerosis Study Group launched a pilot project to evaluate the feasibility of carrying out a 20 country study of the environmental and genetic risk factors in childhood MS. In 2010 we published a full series of MS in Focus in Arabic, filling an information gap for the region. Topics include uh, bladder problems, pain, spasticity, through to stem cells and pharmacological treatments. All editions are available to download free from our website. In November 2011, MSIF's biennial council and board meetings were held in New Delhi, India. With delegates from over 18 countries in attendance, the meetings were really positive and productive, not only in identifying MSIF's future strategy, but in the social events and parallel programmes which were put on by the MSSI, the MS Society of India. The MSIF and China feasibility study was carried out in 2011. The resulting report outlined the need for increased MS awareness in the country and the need to invest in both capacity building and the patient and professional MS communities in China. In early December we presented the petition for access to work to Ms Navin Pillay, the High Commissioner for Human Rights um, who works for the UN in Geneva. The petition was very well received and we're all looking forward to what will happen next. In May last year we brought together delegates from all over the Arabic speaking region. Representatives joined us from Egypt, Syria, Tunisia, Qatar, Bahrain, Saudi Arabia, Lebanon, the UAE and Palestine and to take part in an advocacy workshop where they learned how to advocate for change on behalf of people with MS. They're all working hard with those tools in their own home countries now. The Union of Estonian MS Associations became MSIF's 43rd member in 2011. The union, which represents more than 480 individuals across Estonia, will be able to further increase its participation in MSIF's projects and programmes by becoming an associate member. The Arabic-speaking region continues to be a focus area for MSIF. And over the past year, we've worked very closely with the Egyptian MS Care Society. Now, one of the key activists associated with the society has become an MSIF board member, which will ensure that we have a continued regional presence on the board.